previously on Balls. Yes. How's it going, buddy? No, fine self. All right, thank you. Thank you for joining us on Balls Radio this afternoon. No worries. After a nice performance there for the Titan, the Nashua Titans. Yes. Yeah, no, it's, uh, so it's good to get, get some wickets again for the Titans. Yeah, and uh, at the end of the day, it went for us, so it's good for us. Absolutely. Well, Pfeiffer, eh? Yeah, Pfeiffer. I think that deserves a PGA clap. Yeah. Very reserved, yeah. Well yeah. done, Rudolf. And uh, speaking of PGA, by the way, I saw your name. Uh, Paul Harris has put your name forward for our big golf day tomorrow, and uh, it's not there anymore. What happened? Um, yeah, no, it's. Uh, I suppose it comes down to married life in a way. Ah, uh, there was two kids at home, so <laughs> your warden has spoken. Oh. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No, no problem. Well, we're going to miss you, buddy. Really, will do. And uh, yeah, because we enjoyed having you around last year. Now, um, yeah, I mean, uh, t- 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 have you, I mean, for you, for you, because you say it's nice to get back in the wickets again. Has it been a kind of a, a struggle for you over the last uh, few months? Yeah. Or year? You know, um, especially like, like last year in the one day one day campaign, I had a very disappointing campaign, especially with the ball. So, you know, starting this year with uh, a few good performances up front, you know, just settles me in again and yeah I know bowling with confidence again yeah because I mean there, I, and I remember when you sort of burst onto the scene from a, a nas- international point of view as well uh, it was almost like uh, every time Rulof got the, the ball he, he could not take a wicket um, I mean you just you just went through such a, a purple patch I mean what do you put it down to What because I mean surely not much changes uh, as far as your bowling goes what do you put it down to where you can go through these periods and suddenly it just doesn't go right for you yeah you know I, I think it just uh, it, in a way, it just changes every now and then, you know, where you go through, you know, as you said, like a purple patch where nothing can go wrong, and sometimes you don't get off that good start, and, you know, you're under pressure then, and uh, I think as soon as you get under pressure as a bowler, it it continues for, for a while until you get that good performance and you just settle back in again. So I think it's just, just a bit of extra pressure if, you, if you're not bowling well. Yeah. One of the other aspects about your play, obviously, was, uh, which people really enjoyed, other than the fact that you know you could do everything, was not just that you could bat, but how you batted as well. And people started seeing you in the sort of Lance Klusner, Albie Morkel, that kind of role from a South African point of view, where you can hit it out of the park. Do you feel maybe there was a little bit too much focus put on that aspect of your game, and maybe took a little bit of the the focus off uh, off your bowling? Yeah, I think, you know, that, that first game I played South Africa where, you know, I, I sent the Aussies around a bit, you know, uh, I hit funny areas, you know, and it, that was a big talking point at that stage. And, yeah, I think it did, did take a bit off my bowling and they put lots of focus on my batting. And But at the end of the day, that's, that's why I was there to bat as well. And uh, I think that's also let me down in a, in a way yeah. over the last few seasons in my batting and uh, trying to get that back as well now. All right. Well, it uh, looks like things are back on the right track for you, which is really, really good news. And uh, also, I think from a Titans' point of view, vital win for you guys. Um, obviously, the Lions seem to be the team to beat in this competition at the moment. They really are on a high. They, uh, you know, they go, they're going through their purple patch as a team. Um, but um, despite what happened last time, um, you're not going to lose to them like that again. That's for sure. Um, no. You guys, you guys still fancy your chances, eh? Yeah, definitely. No, I think you know they're playing unbelievable cricket at this stage. Um, you know, but as soon as we get to the playoff games, the semi-finals, we all on uh, equal terms again. I think that's that's where different pressures comes in, and you know, that's I think that's where we've got one up on them at this stage. Yeah, tell me after that uh, that Lions game, by the way. I mean, I, I know coaches like Ray Jennings. I mean, you probably would have made the Oaks all walk home after that game uh, <laughs> if that had happened to his team. But uh, what's Matt like? Is he was he pretty chilled about it? I mean, did he you know, or did he have some stern words to say to you guys, or does he just accept that you know this this can happen? You guys are chasing a big, big target. You get under pressure. That that can happen. No, exactly. I think you know uh, he's a very uh, calm coach in, in that sense. You know, it's, it was our first game after you know a big, big Champions League, which was a which was a high intensity uh, uh, competition. So you know, and it's one of those nights where everything went wrong. I mean, I think if it if it happened twice in a row, you know, you would have maybe had a few few more aggressive words to us. But I mean, you know, it happens every now and then. You get those games and. You know, we, we corrected it. Awesome stuff. Well, listen, good luck for the rest of the campaign, Rolf. Nice to catch up with you again. We're going to miss you, uh, miss you tomorrow. If you do uh, see the coach, just ask him to please be kind and not keep the, keep the three guys that are coming through too late tomorrow because we are holding our uh, starting time so that Harrow and Albie and um, who's at, uh, Yara can k- get through to the golf down time. So cool. um, I know you've got practice again tomorrow. But uh, all the best and uh, nice chatting to you again. Thanks, 
Same as Sunday, Darren. I Thanks, enjoy Rudy. it. Thanks, we all do, man. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, yeah, Bye-bye. Will of Fondamarva joining us on Balls Visual Radio today. I remember he played in our uh, cricket day last year mm. beforehand. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Really I love cool. a nice car. Mm. Mm. Hits it a mile. Hits it a freaking mile, the soak, when he catches it. And can also uh, bowl decently. It's so nice to see him back and forth because he's a guy we could use in our uh, T20 and ODR teams in particular. This is Balls Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Balls.co.za